Hi friends, this is Vivek from Gadget Guideful and in today's video I am sharing the first impression with the Asus Zenfone Max. Asus launched the Zenfone Max in India at a starting price tag of Rs. 9. For the 2GB RAM with 16GB inbuilt memory while the other variant with 2GB RAM 32GB inbuilt memory costs Rs. 9. While the final variant 3GB RAM with 32GB inbuilt memory costs Rs. 12. Uh, with me, I have the 2GB RAM with 32GB inbuilt variant and uh, the phone is available in 4 colors and uh, the colors are blue, orange, white and black. With me, I have the black one uh, while when you look at the earlier generation or the previous Zenfone Max, it is only available in the black color. Talking about the specifications, it features 5.5 inch TFT LED backlit and which has a resolution 1280 by 720 pixels and with display side you won't face any issues it is the same display the which you found in the first generation above the display you will find the Asus banding speaker grill and 5 megapixel front facing camera and below the display you will find the capacitive button it follows the same design of the Asus Zenfone Max which you found in the earlier one and there is a power key and volume key on the right hand side and on the left hand side there is nothing as such at the top you will find the 3.5 mm audio jack and at the bottom you will find the micro usb slot for charging the device and uh, it also has reverse charging by which means you can use this smartphone to charge other phones too it works as a power bank and there is a mic at the bottom and at the back you will find the dual led flash with the 13 megapixel camera and laser autofocus with a mic asus banding with zenfone banding and a speaker at the back the back has a leather finish which you found in other uh, or in the Zenfone Max earlier version and removing the back cover gives you access to the dual sim card slots and the micro SD card slot uh, it takes a little bit time to open it and it's really a tough one when compared to the first generation and the back panel is really tough to remove and the when you remove the back panel you will find that dual sim card slots with the micro sd card slot by using micro sd card slot you can further expand the memory up to 64 gb the main usb of the product is the battery it packs 5000 mAh battery and it's not removable and it comes with 38 days of standby time which is a really huge when compared to other smartphones in the same price bracket I will share a lot more in about the battery in other video and tapping on notification toggle panel gives you access to few settings as you can see that and you can edit them depending on the requirements and which settings you want to see you can just use it and uh, tapping on settings button give you access to all the settings available in the smartphone and just going to about you will find the information about the device like the everything and it is runs on the android version 6.0.1 which is a really a big thing when you look at it the earlier one runs on the android lollipop this is where it has a edge over it and uh, the hardware information is uh, you can easily find and the uh, it uh, is powered by qualcomm snapdragon 410 processor the earlier one and uh, the newer one with me it uh, runs it is powered by qualcomm snapdragon 615 processor which clocks at 1.5 gigahertz it's an octa core processor and as uh, you have seen that it runs on android version 6.0.1 with the uh, asus zenui on top of it although it packs 5000 mAh battery it is only 202 gram weighs 
only 202 grams and uh, it is 10.5 mm thick when compared to the thickness and the uh, smartphone is available in number of variants as I have already shared with you and uh, will share a lot more about the device in upcoming video this is your host Vivek signing off thanks for watching this video do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss upcoming video